Hey guys, welcome back to this Grand MA3 tutorial series. Today we're going to look at multi-instance fixtures. Let's start off by explaining what an instance is. Whenever you have a repeated amount of attributes within one fixture, such as multiple zones of LEDs that all have color control, they will be split up into instances. Each instance allows individual control of a portion of the parent fixture, better known as a sub-fixture. Let's take this ColorForce 248 that we have patched in, for example. This fixture with the mode I selected has 16 LED zones that have individual color attributes. We can see this in the fixture sheet when we click on the arrow next to the fixture name. If I were to call this fixture by typing in the fixture ID, followed by please and then full, and then go to change the color, you'll see that the entire fixture follows the same dimmer and color attributes. This isn't what I want, however. To change the attributes of just one sub-fixture, I need to call it by its instance. Let's clear out the programmer and then type in the parent fixture ID, but this time, let's add a dot one for sub-fixture one. We will finish this line out by pressing please and full again, and you'll see that we've now called the first sub-fixture. One quick note to make is that when you are selecting sub-fixtures, the parent fixture in the 3D window will not show as selected. The only time the parent fixture will show as selected is when you have chosen the parent fixture ID. Now that I have control of that sub-fixture's attributes, any attributes that I change here will not affect the other sub-fixtures. What if we want to call half of the LED zones? Here's how to enter that in the command line. We'll start with the parent fixture ID, followed by dot one as the first sub-fixture in our selection. Now, when we click through, we don't have to type in the parent fixture ID again, we can just simply type in the last sub-fixture for our selection, 8. Once we press please and full, you'll see that we now have the first 8 sub-fixtures chosen. The last thing we're going to look at is selecting groups of multi-instance fixtures. When typing in the command line the fixture IDs of your first through last fixtures, the selection will only be of the parent fixtures and will not allow individual control of the sub-fixtures. To select a group of sub-fixtures across multiple fixtures, such as the first eight sub-fixtures again, we need to enter the first parent fixture ID through the last parent fixture ID, add a period, followed by the first through last instance selection, much like we did before. After pressing please and full, you can see we made the same sub-fixture selection across multiple fixtures. Let's store this as a group, clear our selection, and always remember to save your show file. 